guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a quick video reviewing some new NARS products I've picked up recently. I've shown you guys these in haul videos and now it's time to just talk about the different products that I've picked up recently and we're also going to do some lip swatches of this cute little NARS lip glides kit. Now, I've only recently gotten into lip swatches, so if you guys like this type of video, definitely let me know by giving this video a thumbs up or leaving me a comment down below. And before I forget, I usually upload every other day, so you can expect videos from me a few times a week. I usually alternate days and I usually tend to upload on days that have even numbers. So the 2nd, the 4th, the 6th, the 8th of basically every month is my upload schedule. I usually like to post early in the morning because I do have a lot of Sri Lankan viewers. So people from back home that watch my channel. And so I usually try to post at about 6 a.m my time in central time which is usually about 6 to 7 p.m their time so hopefully that kind of gives you guys an idea of when you can expect my videos if you have any questions on the schedule also let me know down below um, that's pretty much everything i had to talk about so let's get in to this review of NARS. Okay guys, so a little bit of background. I have loved the brand NARS for a really long time. I use their Sheer Glow Foundation. It's like my holy grail foundation. I have been through multiples of their blushes. I have Orgasm. So many different products from them. I just have tried so many different things and they are definitely one of my favorite high-end brands. I rave about how well their shades like match my skin tone and things like that which is sometimes really hard for me to do so NARS is like a really great tan girl friendly brand as far as I'm concerned um, and if you're wondering if you're curious my shades from them I'm usually um, Syracuse in the winter time and then my shade is Tahoe in the summer time which is one shade darker than Syracuse so Anyway, I was, you know, moseying around Sephora and Alta and I picked up some things that they had recently come out with. So the first thing that caught my eye was obviously this beautiful pink packaging. This is an Alta exclusive and it's the Velvet Lip Glide set. And the net weight of this is 0.12 ounces uh, per lipstick that's in here. And then this is what it looks like on the inside and then on the back of the package. It gives all the ingredients for each of the lip products and then it also says that this has an 18 month shelf life. Now the lip glides, I believe this kit was $45 so that does sound a little bit pricey but individually I believe these are like $24 to $26, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but NARS is definitely not a very affordable brand so I think a kit like this is a perfect way to try the Velvet Lip Glides. I had never tried them because again the price for one is so high and I'm like not really a lip person so I wasn't really that excited to try it but when I saw this kit I jumped right on it so let's go ahead and get into swatches so you guys can see what these shades look like on my skin tone. Okay so here is the first shade and this is the shade Rapture and it's definitely a pink shade. I can almost like see it leaning a little bit coral but not so much. And these are not liquid lipsticks they're like a hybrid of a lip gloss and a lipstick. So they do have quite a bit of pigmentation but they don't dry completely matte. This is the next shade and this is Night Together. And these definitely feel more glossy, so if you don't like liquid lipsticks, this is going to be right up your alley. This is probably my favorite shade from this set, just because it's like a neutral, mauve brown shade. A lot of the other shades are very pink-based, so if you're not a fan of that, you're not going to enjoy this kit. And this shade is Californication. And I believe all of these shades are exclusive to this kit. So if you want any of these particular shades, they're not repeats from the permanent line. You would have to pick up the kit from Ulta. This shade is called Immoral and it's a very bright, hot pink shade. The thing about colors like this and it not being a liquid lipstick is they're not transfer proof. So it's definitely going to transfer. If you're drinking wine or water or you want to kiss somebody, 
it's definitely going to get on them. So just keep that in mind with this formula. This shade is a really pretty berry color and it is called Staying Alive. And it's really beautiful. It's probably one of my favorite shades in this kit. And this shade is Burning Love. I think these are all named after songs, if I'm correct, because Burning Love isn't that a song by Elvis? Um, anyway, this is a beautiful berry red shade as well. So these colors are great because they are definitely wearable. I don't think they did anything too crazy where you couldn't get really good use out of each and every single one of these lipsticks. Now, like I had kind of talked about while I was showing you the shades, you do get a great variety. They aren't transfer proof, which to me is a huge minus because I'm just not comfortable with products that transfer, especially on a daily basis because I do tend to wear lipstick to work and I don't want to get it messy which is the problem I had with this because of course I'm drinking water during the day and I wear my hair down sometimes and if your hair gets caught in it, it's definitely gonna rub all over your face and make you look incredibly crazy. But if you're looking for a really comfortable lip product, this is gonna be the one for you. I know Live Loves Hair Makeup loves these lip glides, but unfortunately for me, these products are just a pass. And honestly, it's supposed to be very like moisturizing and hydrating for your lips and better than a liquid lipstick. But I think in my head, I'm so used to liquid lipsticks that these are almost like, they almost feel drying on my lips for some reason. When I wear them over a period of time, my lips feel just as chapped as it would if I had a liquid lipstick on. So because of that reason, I will be returning this kit. But if you guys think you might like this from the description I gave you, I would totally recommend picking it up. It's just not the right consistency for me. Okay, the next thing I wanted to review for you guys, and this is really hard to say, and of course NARS, but there are big words. This is the limited edition Board Day Plage Highlighting and Bronzing Palette. I'll put the name down here below so you guys know what the hell I'm trying to say. But this is their, I would say, summer face palette. Usually NARS comes out with a few different palettes in the summertime and I had no intention of picking this up because I picked up a NARS highlighter in the shade Hot Sand when it was launched, I think probably in the springtime and I really didn't think it was very good but this palette, I swatched it in Sephora and it was game over. It has that baked gelée formula and honestly the one that works really well for me is this shade right here. I'm going to actually swatch that on my face. It is the palette, it is the highlighter I am wearing today, but of course this is my like 8 hour makeup from work this morning, so I'm going to brighten it up and show it to you guys, but on here I just want you to know um, the net weight is 3.2 grams times 6, so each of these is 3.2 grams. They have all the ingredients listed on the back. This is looks like it's made in Italy and has an 18 month shelf life. I love this box packaging and the packaging on the palette is also amazing. There's a perfectly nice size mirror and all of the highlighters are on this side and then there's two bronzers which is the NARS new bronzer formula, the Sun Wash bronzers. These I think are a little too light for me but like I said this one highlighter basically sold me this whole palette which is pretty bad because it's a $59 palette it's definitely not cheap and honestly if you're on a budget I would recommend skipping this but that let me just show you the highlight because I just keep talking and I just love the consistency of this it's that big gelée so it just like you know it's like butter on your skin it's so so good so here we go check it out it's so pretty oh my god I love this so much and this is such a great like everyday highlighter for me because it's so like it just works so well with the color of my skin so I'm a huge fan of this I know my friend Kat from Rented 
fashion. She's about my skin tone. She just bought this palette too. So hopefully she enjoys it, but I think this is fabulous. And if you have my skin tone, this highlighter is a game changer. It's so, so beautiful and it feels so natural. It's not a chunky glitter. It's big gelée, so it's very, very glidey and beautiful. I haven't really played with all the other highlighters, but they are that same consistency and they are nice and soft. I do wear them mixed with the main highlight, the one I just put on my face. These colors are all really beautiful. Let me swatch the two bronzers for you. You probably won't even be able to see them, but they do feel really nice and soft. I do wear a NARS bronzer on a daily basis. I actually wear the shade Casino from just their regular bronzer line. The Sun Wash one is a little too light for me. I don't know if any of the other shades will work because I don't think Casino is the darkest one in the Sun Wash collection, but I don't really need a new bronzer right now, so I'm not planning on purchasing any of the full sizes of those but palette you guys i can't stop saying enough good things about it i definitely think it's a must-have if you're looking for a awesome travel friendly face palette okay so since we're talking about nars products in this video the other one i wanted to review for you guys is the nars soft matte complete concealer in the shade ginger which is medium two this works so well with my skin and it has a 24 month shelf life now this has been out for a couple of months and i saw so many youtubers rave about this and i refused to pick it up because i really didn't need a concealer at the time and i was like nope I'm not buying it. Everyone's talking about it, which probably means that they're overhyping it for no reason. But I honestly would highly suggest this concealer. If you guys have dry skin and if you are looking for a really nice emollient concealer, this is amazing. Usually pot concealers can dry up and get really crusty under your eyes. And even in the pot, they don't usually last very long because, you know, air gets into them and they tend to dry out. But this concealer is flipping amazing. It goes on like butter. I have so many different concealers, but I find myself reaching for this one constantly. And what I love about it is not only can you use it under your eyes, you can use it to contour, you can use it to highlight. So if you're looking for an awesome product for cream contour, I would totally recommend this as well. You would just want to buy a couple of shades darker, a couple of shades lighter highlighting. This one is definitely lighter than my skin, but it works so perfectly under my eyes because I do like to have a lighter under eye. I don't need to use anything with this. It has enough coverage for me and it lasts all day. It doesn't crease. It's just a beautiful concealer. I can't tell you guys enough good things about this product. Okay, and then the last two products I wanted to talk about from NARS are these lippies. These are the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigments, and I have two shades. I have Save the Queen, which is a dusty mauve, and I have Don't Stop, which is a really beautiful red shade. Now these retail for $26. Again, NARS products are not cheap, guys, so you definitely are going to be splurging quite a bit if you're not used to that price point but I do think some of their stuff is really worth it that's why I wanted to make this video kind of giving you guys my quick opinion on all these products so before I blabber on further I do want to lip swatch these for you so let's check out the lip swatches first so this is the shade save the queen and this I wear all the time I love this color it's just so easy and when it dries down it does dry down a little bit darker and these also have a really nice applicator I wouldn't call it a doe foot but I guess that's what you would really call it but it's very pointy and very like it's like a little paddle so it really helps get your lip product in very accurately so now it's dried on my lips while I was talking and so this is the shade the only thing I didn't like about these is it did look like it kind of leaked in the packaging when it came on from my online order it had like leaked a bit like it was an oily residue so I would be mindful of these I would definitely store them standing up I wouldn't really put them in a purslane flat because I am worried that they will leak but I do love this color and it's a great everyday shade for people with my skin tone Okay, so I wanted to show you guys me swatching this color because the last time and the only other time I put it on, I had a really hard time with this color. I was actually considering returning it, but I wanted to show you guys on camera just in case it didn't go so well. You would see my complaints about it. Okay, so this time it actually went a lot better than I did it last time. The thing about these is they are really watery so you do have to be careful because it is very easy to put too much on and I think that's what happened the last time. I was trying to make it super opaque and I wasn't letting it dry down enough and it just turned into a big hot mess on my face and I had to just wipe it off and start over. So 
yeah, it was kind of a hot mess. Today, it looks really good on camera. I was just looking for a great, like, everyday red that I can just throw on, and it would be long-wearing. I love women with red lips. I just think it's such a... it's It looks so effortless because you can do so little with your eye makeup and then just throw on a red lip, and you just look stunning. So, and I just think red is such a, like, a universal shade because it looks good on everyone, whereas, like, nudes, you know, it really depends on the shade of nude because some nudes can be too light on certain certain people and certain skin tones some can be too dark so I think reds are just such a great shade and I just think this one in particular in the shade don't say by NARS is a game changer um, yeah I'm so glad I I did that on camera so you guys could see how well these apply they are truly beautiful and I love the formula you guys these are like my new favorite liquid lipstick so if you're in the market, I really want to pick up like every shade from this lineup. But yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys about these lipsticks. Okay guys, that is everything I wanted to review for you from NARS. These are products I just recently tried out from them. And I thought instead of making separate videos on each and every single product, I would make one big video. I have been holding on to that Lip Glide set forever because I wanted to review it for you guys before I took it back into store. So I finally decided today was the day that I needed to hunker down and do that for you. If you have any questions or comments or brilliant insights on this video, just leave me any information, comments down below. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys. Peace.